Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot again. Hope everybody's well. Leo, it is time for your November round two reading. Whew. Trying not to drain myself, but I'm four days behind on readings, so I'm going to get caught up and get all the readings in that I want to get in by the 28th of this month. I, I got to get my ass in gear, so... But I can't be draining myself either, so we'll see how it goes. This is this is a journey of life goals for me this month. So enough said about that. Leo. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do, Leo, with a message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay to you. You check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by new and old. If you're new here, think we might vibe, get along, you want to come more, hang out more often, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. That would be super awesome of you. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by again. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps these videos get circulated to those who need the messages, and it is all greatly appreciated. Okay. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you, Leo, there's two things we've got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or anybody else's. And two... It's not your reading, not your story, not your message. If it's not vibing with you, if it's not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? All right, turn it down, and here we go. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, for what's left of the month of October. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Leo to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. I thought we were through this, Leo. Didn't you get the memo? This is an Aries thing now. Okay? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay. So, you're fighting a painful ending. Okay. I'm working with a different spread this time around, by the way. We're going to discuss strengths, weaknesses, what you want... What's coming in, what's got to go, what you got to do, all that happy jazz. So, cross watchers, this might not necessarily be your reading, but if you take something out of it, cool. Okay. What are your strengths? Two of cups reversed. How is two of cups reversed to strength? That could mean that you're okay outside of a connection. Makes zero sense for Leos. This might be for somebody specific, but I'll just roll with it anyway. What are your weaknesses? Three of Wands. Sometimes you wait things out a little bit too long. What do you want? Six of Pentacles reversed. You don't want to be the one who always has to give. What's got to go? King of Swords reversed. A bad attitude has to go. How you view and perceive things has to go. Doing things, making decisions based on emotion, not logic, has to go. We're going to get clarity and everything. What's coming in for you? Ace of Cups, new love, new connection. Some news coming in. All right. What do you got to do? Justice. Justice comes into level playing fields. Justice comes in when there's been an injustice. You have to level your own scales and cut shit out of your life, Leo. It's all about how you change your perception. 
You know you're good on your own. Why are you waiting a connection out? You know what you want or you know what you don't want. What's the outcome? Three of Cups. Finding joy again. Finding harmony. Could be a card of reunion. We'll see what, what else comes out. We're going to get clarity for you, though. All right, let's set that there. Okay. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here? Why is the Two of Cups reversed here? For Leo's strengths. Ace of Swords. You're able to see things with clarity. One more. Hierophant. Why the Hierophant? Two of Wands. Okay. Despite how you may think about yourself, despite whatever others have told you about yourself, you are good on your own, and that is a strength. Being able to let go and move on is a strength because it calls in the new, and it calls in the divine. It calls in what is blessed and predetermined. But you have to be okay to be on your own before new things can be called in. It is a great strength. So what's the struggle all about? Let's go to your weakness. Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here? Queen of wands. Because <laughs> you know what you want. And you go after it with everything you have. And you wait things out a little bit too long. Because the Queen of Wands is someone who always has to have her way. Four of Pentacles. And sometimes we lock the doors to other things because we held on to something so long. Page of Wands reversed stops us from moving forward. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here for what Leo does want? Seven of Pentacles reversed. You don't want to always have to be the one giving. You don't want to always have to be the one investing. You don't want to wait for things. Nine of Wands. Why the Nine of Wands? Nine of Pentacles. You don't want to always have to fight for it. You want to be independent and get on your own. You are. Page of Swords.
Eight of Cups reversed. You want truth of something. You want something to return to you. Or you want to be able to return to something. This just got super specific super quick. So if this is a special message for somebody. I apologize to the collective. But for some of you. You may want to be good on your own. Maybe you want to return to a place where you were good on your own. Why is the King of Swords reverse chair? This is what's got to go. Four of Swords. Laying something to rest. Nursing through a heartbreak. Changing your attitude. Taking that fourth sword and cutting shit out of your life. Clear the way to build your foundations. You got to change your attitude. Six of Pentacles upright. And sometimes when you change your attitude, you have to be willing to give it as well as receive. Empress reverse, or it's not going to grow. You have to change your attitude. Why is the Ace of Cups here for what's coming in? Just one. Two of Swords. Again, it's a decision you're going to be making with clarity. Seeing through a blindfold. Can't really see very well through a blindfold, so you got to cut that bitch off. Two of Pentacles, accepting the change that goes along with this. You have to change your perspective, Leo. I know it's hard, but if you want that cup to come in, you have to change the way you view things. You have to learn to let shit go. Doesn't matter how bad you want it. Doesn't matter how bad you want it. If it doesn't want you, it doesn't want you. You have to be able to be good on your own. You have to be able to be good on your own. Why is justice here for what Leo's got to do? Why is just, thank you, hermit. Hermit. To walk in that spiritual path. Going inside, deciding what you want and what you don't want, what's got to be cut and what gets to stay. The sun, deciding what's going to make you happy. It's three majors, by the way. <clears throat> and sometimes in order to get what we want, we have to be willing to invest. Even if in past connections, you feel like you invested everything. Don't be afraid to invest in a new connection just because an old one didn't work out. Emperor, you got to take control back. Do you see him watching his empire grow? That's his empire right there. Right there. So whatever whatever your babies are. Whatever your dream is. You have to be willing to cut shit on your life. You have to even if it's habits. You got to go inside, you got to figure that out. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here as the outcome? Hanged man. Finally seeing things from a new perspective and being able to accept the fate of a situation. Strength. Taming the inner beast. Sometimes we got caught up in our own bullshit and we got to tame an inner beast. The fool forging the new path. The path to bliss. Why not? Why not?
just reversed at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Until you are good on your own, the connection cannot come in. Nine of Pentacles reversed, lovers reversed. Six of Swords reversed, Death reversed. Do not keep revisiting something that is not going to change. Get off the merry-go-round. End the pain. Leo. Tower at the bottom of the deck. Change lies within you. I can't remember who else got this. I want to say it was Taurus, but I'm not 100% sure. But, I don't know. Somebody else got this. It might have been during the weekly. I don't know. Change lies within you. you want, if you want to change it, change your outcome, change your focus. Change your attitude. I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm just saying what I'm saying. I'm reading how I read. I'm seeing what I see. Leo, you know I love you. I would never throw shade. I'm here to help. Just know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys in your next reading.